Hi my love. This class was filmed live on the 21st of May, Gemini season. It is an invitation to bring lightness, to bring joy, to bring playfulness and excitement to moving in your body. It is a celebration of life. It is a act of reverence. It is a moment to truly receive this experience on your journey. I hope that you enjoy your practice and um, I hope I see you again. And then we're gonna come to lying on the earth. Just taking your time to get comfortable. Taking your time to wiggle around and adjust. And taking a few last movements in body. And then just letting yourself land on the earth. And your body drop towards the ground. And then the eyes gently close if they're not already. And just beginning to notice what's here. Without trying to fill the space without judging anything as good or bad. Take a moment just to notice. Maybe first checking in with the mind. And then beginning to draw the awareness down through the body. And then beginning to draw the awareness to your breath. And without trying to change anything for now, just noticing how the breath feels. Following each inhale. Following each exhale. where in the body you feel the breath. Noticing the depth of your breath. And then on your next inhale, starting to deepen the breath. Let the tummy muscles expand as you inhale. Let the breath fill the lower belly. Fill all the way up to the collarbone. There's effort behind the inhale. There's no effort behind the exhale, that's just a relief. Almost as if with the inhale you pick something up and with the exhale you just put it down, let it go. Drop it to the earth. Inhale, filling the body. Exhale, release. And just start to find your own rhythm with this full, complete inhale and this soft release, the exhale. And just for the moment, be with the breath. 
allowing whatever has been going on this week, this weekend, today, to just pause. For you to just arrive here in ceremony, in reverence of your body, of life. On your next inhale, full breath in, and we're going to pause at the very top. Hold the breath. Try not to force, try not to tighten, just find this pause. And then open the mouth and let the breath go. Full deep breath in from lower belly to collarbones, fill the body with air. Pause at the top. And let the breath go. We're going to do one more full deep breath in, all the way from pelvis to collarbone. Pause at the top. And let the breath go when you're ready. And start to just return to a normal breath. Have a moment to scan through the body and notice what's there. Really starting this practice from this slow, open space. When you feel ready, bring the soles of the feet to the earth. Slight scooch of the hips to the right and then drop both knees over to the left. If you want a little more depth here, if your body's calling for a little more sensation, you can cross that right leg over the left before dropping the knee. This can feel quite intense, so if it's too much, come out and take both knees together. Arms come wide, maybe into a cactus or a T-shape. Gaze can either be up at the ceiling or over that right shoulder. Take a moment here, let the body land. There's no real effort in body. Gravity's doing the work, the earth's holding you. And just starting to find the breath. So we're going to be working with two different elements today. We're going to be working mainly with the fire element, this twisting. But we're also going to be weaving in the element of air. As we move into Gemini season, we're invited to open, to create space, to bring lightness, to bring joy. This is the element of air. The element of fire helps to clear the way. And it helps to bring the courage and the confidence we need to stand in who we are, to allow this openness, to allow this expansion, to allow this space. So as you land here in your twist and just notice, see if you can draw your awareness to the point where your ribs meet. This is your solar plexus, the home of your inner fire, your personal power, your courage, your strength. And you can also feel this space interact with the element of air through the breath. Try not to let the mind get too into this. Be in body, be in the experience without needing to label or make sense of what's happening, just be in it, just experience it. Let each breath be full. Let it anchor your awareness. Let it guide you in. Every moment, an opportunity to be curious, to explore what lies within your world. (laughs) 
in just a few more breaths here. When you feel ready, slowly unravel through the body, come back to the center. You can lie flat on the earth or keep the knees up towards the sky, whatever feels most right to you, and then just pause here. We start this practice with these yin style shapes, an opportunity for the body to begin to open, for the body to begin to weave its magic and its wisdom into this space. And we take these rebounds as a moment for the body to absorb the shape we've just taken, to land, to settle. And my invitation this morning is to really lean into the wisdom of your body. Try not to let the mind get you into it, be embodied. Don't overthink it. Just a few more breaths here. going to take that same twist on the other side so you might want to adjust the hips over to the left drop the knees to the right you can cross left leg over the right first if you want that if it doesn't work for your body don't do it you can adjust the position of your shoulders the position of your arms and just explore for these first few moments what feels good in your body often in these yin style shapes the subtlest of adjustments makes such a difference so just give yourself a little time to see what feels good and then find a place to land, a place to settle. Let the breath move freely, let your awareness follow the breath and just be in this experience. The mind may try to pull for your attention, your awareness. Okay. As human beings, we're gifted this monkey mind and it's a life's journey to learn to navigate that. To learn to refocus the mind, to anchor the mind, not to still. I think this idea that the mind will ever be still is almost impossible. And actually, opens up a lot of space for judgment. Can we instead accept the fact that our minds will always wander? They will always pull for our awareness. And that's okay. But in this place of acceptance, we can recognize that we have a choice. When we notice the mind wander, we have a choice whether we wish to bring it back. can bring lightness to that. Lightness to body, lightness to mind. Lightness to the way you approach this time. Taking a few 
few more moments here. slowly come back to the center either plant your feet on the earth with knees to the sky or stretch your body long on the ground lying down and just give yourself a moment here to let all of that settle to let your body land finding the breath equal inhale to exhale Full deep breath in, full deep breath out. And then bring the knees up in towards the chest when you feel ready. Take your time to get there. So from here, you can pause with knees in the chest and just take a moment or you can begin to invite movement by taking a gentle rock side to side. My invitation is to explore the position of your knees. You can bring them tight to your chest, but you can also take them further away. You'll get a slightly different part of your lower back depending on where your knees go. Just explore how it feels in your body. Explore taking the knee an arm's length away from you. See how that feels. And then maybe bring them slightly closer and see how that feels. These first few moments are just an opportunity for you to drop into body. Begin to notice. Drop the awareness away from mind. Feel sensation. And then bring the knees in towards the chest. Take stillness and bring the hands to the backs of the thighs. Draw the knees in, and we're gonna take a few rocks up and down the spine. So it doesn't matter how many rocks you take, and if rocking up and down the spine isn't working for you for whatever reason, roll over to one side and make your way to tabletop that way. Eventually, we come over the knees or swing them round. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Fingers open nice and wide, press down through the knuckles. Press the feet into the earth, press down through the left hand. Inhale, take right arm up to the sky, lift it high. And on the exhale, spread the right arm under the body. Don't drop too low. Inhale, right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, gently spread it under the body. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, spread it under the body. Last one, inhale to the sky. Exhale, spread it under the body. This time, pause here. Drop shoulder to the earth. Drop the right cheek to the earth. Left hand can stay on the ground or wrap around your lower back. Take a moment here. Draw that right shoulder under. Find the breath. Use the breath here. If you dry your breaths in your practice and that's what you wish to bring in, bring it in. If not, don't do it. Just find an equal inhale to exhale. Keeping this practice simple. Pressing left hand back to the ground as you lifted it. Inhale, take right arm up to the sky. Send it high as you lift through that right shoulder. And then exhale, drop the right hand back to the earth. Inhale, lift the chest, drop the belly. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, come back to neutral. Press down through that right hand and then Take left arm up to the sky, send it high. On the exhale, we spread the arm underneath the body. Inhale, take it up to the sky. 
exhale, thread it under. Nice, use your breath, inhale, take it to the sky. Exhale, thread it under. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, take it under this time, pause here, drop left shoulder to the earth, drop the cheek to the earth. Option to take right hand round to your lower back, maybe to the front of your left thigh. Take a moment here, find your breath. Being with sensation, with the experience. Last breath in, last breath out. Right hand comes to the earth if it's not there already. Inhale, left arm to the sky, lift through the shoulder, open through the chest. Exhale, left hand meets the earth. Press down through the hand, inhale, draw heart forwards as you drop the belly down. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, come forwards, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the toes as you round. Inhale, come forward, take the chest towards the front of the mat. And then exhale as you round, send bum back towards the heel. Reach through the hands, inhale, take the bum to the sky, downward facing dog. Take a moment here. Do you need movement? Do you need stillness? Be what your body's feeling today. Move in a way that feels good. Notice if it's just habitual or if it's actually meeting you in the moment. When you find stillness in your downward dog, feet are at least hip width apart, give yourself space. Soft bend through the knees as you press tummy towards the thighs and then let the head go. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze towards the hands. Exhale, walk the feet slowly to the top of the mat. Press down through the big toes. Inhale, hands come up the shins, lift halfway. Exhale, start to fold, tummy towards the side. Inhale, arms to the sky, take it high, we rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close the eyes, take a moment here, let the shoulders drop. Take a moment, drop the awareness through the body. Notice what's there. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, take the arms up to the sky, open the eyes. Exhale, begin to fold, soft bend through the knees as we fold the body forward. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, both hands meet the mat, step left toes back, drop the knee down. Press firmly through your right foot, inhale, arms up to the sky. And on your exhale, take left arm back, right arm forward. See if you can keep that left hip pointing to the front of your mat. So the twist comes from your lower ribs rather than the hip. Take an inhale as you reach fingertip to fingertip. Take an exhale. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, draw right arm back, left arm forward. Twist the other way. Again, keep strength through the pelvis. Twist from the lower ribs. Firm press of that right foot to the ground. Take an inhale as you reach. Take an exhale. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Press through the left hand. Inhale, lift the left knee. As you lift the right arm, come into a twist. Press firmly through your left hand, through your right foot, and reach through the right fingertips. Take a breath. You inhale, reach a little higher. As you exhale, right hand comes to the earth and walks you all the way round to the long edge of the mat. Turn the toes in, heels out. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, start to fold, head heavy, begin to let the head drop towards the earth. You can take a soft bend through the knees. Wherever you go, lift the sit bone and breathe. Firmly through the feet, inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest, lift the lower belly, support the lower back. Exhale, walk the hands round to the front of the mat, bend your front knee. Inhale, take the gaze forwards, heart forward. Exhale, step left, toes forward and begin to fold. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest, lift the gaze. 
exhale, hands meet the mat, step right toes back, drop your knee down, press firmly through your left foot, inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, take right arm back, left arm forward. Notice this right hip wanting to twist with you and see if you can bring it to the front of the mat. Twist from the core, from the tummy. Sign the breath. Reach fingertip to fingertip, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Twist from lower ribs as you take the left fingertips to the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, both hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the right knee as you send left arm to the sky. Take a twist. Squeeze of the hips, find the breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left hand comes to the earth and brings you all the way around to the long edge of the mat. Toes turn in. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the lower belly. Exhale, begin to fold the body forward, let the head come heavy. If the legs are straight, there's a lift of the kneecaps. If not, knees are slightly bent, giving you space. Use the breath here. Lift just the lower belly as you inhale, lift the chest, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, walk your hands to the front of the mat, bend the left knee. Inhale, send the heart forward. Exhale, step the right toes forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, begin to fold the body forward. Inhale, arms to the sky, take it high, we rise. Exhale, begin to fold, so bend through the knees as you take tummy to thigh. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, both hands meet the mat, step left toe back, this time knee lifted. Press through the right big toe as you inhale, arms to the sky. Let the wobbles come as you rise. Exhale, left arm back, right forwards. Again, notice the temptation for that left hip to draw back as you twist. See if you can draw it forward and then twist through the rib. Take an inhale as you reach. Exhale. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, take right arm back, left arm forward, twist the other way. Reach from fingertip to fingertip, open through the chest, deep breath. This time, drop right hand to lower back. Inhale, take left arm to the sky, lift it high. Exhale, left hand meets the earth. Inhale, right arm to the sky, we twist through the torso. Exhale, press down for your left hand. Inhale, reach through the right. Exhale, right hand takes you round to the long edge of the mat, come into a forward fold. Turn the toes in, heels out. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, start to fold the body forward. Head comes heavy, there's strength through the legs, through the lower belly, through the feet. Deep breath. Down through the feet as you inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, walk your hands back to the front of the mat. Press down through the knuckles, inhale, lift again. Exhale, step left toes forwards and begin to fold. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, hands meet the mat, step right toes back. Inhale, arms to the sky, take it high. Exhale, take left arm back, right arm back, left arm forward. So we twist towards that right hip. Again, notice here how the right hip wants to go with you. Bring it forward, strength through the pelvis, bend through that front knee. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward, twist the other way. Deep inhale as you reach. Exhale, commit to the bend in the front knee. Inhale. Exhale, left hand to your lower back. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the earth, drop it down. Inhale, left arm to the sky, we twist. Exhale. Inhale, reach left arm high. 
Exhale, left hand brings you round to the long edge of the mat, forward fold. Toes in, heels out, take an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, we fold, head heavy, find your breath. Drop into sensation, into body, into breath. Down through the feet, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, walk your hands back to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the game. Exhale, step right toes forward. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, start to fold the body forward. Inhale, onto the sky, take it high, we high. Exhale, begin to fold, soft bend through the knees as you fold. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, hands meet the mat, step left toes back. Inhale, arms to the sky, let the wobbles come as you rise. Exhale, take left arm back, right forward. Inhale, here. Exhale, bend through the knee. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, here. Exhale, right hand to the lower back. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, left hand to the arm. Inhale, right arm to the sky, we twist. Exhale, right hand takes you round to the long edge of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, this time walk your hands to the back of the mat, bend the left knee. Press through the right hand, inhale, left arm to the sky, we twist. Exhale, draw your left arm back, see if you can follow it with the game. Inhale, lift it back up to the sky, take it high. Exhale, left hand meets the earth. Inhale, step back to a high plank. Exhale, drop the knees as you lower your chest between your hands. Untuck the toes. Inhale, lift the chest, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, take your bum to the sky, down with facing dog, deep breath. Head heavy, breath full, be in body, not in mind. Especially as we face the back of the mat, try not to overthink it. Through the left toes, inhale, take right to the sky. Exhale, step right foot between the hands, maybe help it there. Press down through the right big toe, inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand brings you all the way round to the long edge of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the game. Exhale, walk your hands back to the front, bend the left knee. Inhale, take the gaze forward. Exhale, step right toes forward. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, both hands meet the mat, step right toes back. Inhale, arms to the sky, we rise. Exhale, take right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, reach through the fingers. Exhale. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left hand to lower back. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, left hand brings you round to the long edge of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest. Exhale, walk to the back of the mat, bend the right knee. Press through the left hand, inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, continue the circle, take the right arm towards the back of the mat. Inhale, lift it back up to the sky. Exhale, right hand meets the earth. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, drop the knees as you lower your chest between your hands. Keep tummy engaged as you lower. And tuck the toes, press them down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, take it back to your downward facing dog or a child's pose. We're here for a couple of breaths. Give yourself a moment. We need to let our sigh, let our sigh, let there be room, let there be a clearing, a relief. Room around your experience.
if you're in child's pose, make your way to downward facing dog. And then from there, we're gonna press through the right toes. Inhale, take left to the sky, lift it high. Exhale, left knee to nose, step the foot between the hands, maybe help it there. Press through the right hand, inhale, left arm to the sky, take it high. Exhale, left hand brings you round to the long edge of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, walk your hands to the front. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, step left toes forward and fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, begin to fold. Inhale, arms to the sky, take it high, we round. Exhale, hands to heart center, close down your eyes. You can place your hands over your heart. Take your hands next to your hip, or place them on your lower dantian, which sits between your hip bones, just the front of your body. Wherever feels right for you, go there. Close the eyes. Find the breath. Drop the awareness. Notice the movement within as your body comes to stillness. The world that lives inside of you. Find the breath. Let each breath be full, complete. Never rushing to the next. Deep inhale. Let it go out the mouth, exhale. Release the hand, open the eyes. Inhale, take arms to the sky, we rise. Exhale, begin to fold, soft bend through the knees. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, both hands meet the mat. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, pause here. Option to drop the knees, we're here for a couple of breaths. Send the shoulders over the wrist. Activate through your legs, lift the kneecaps. Engage the bum cheek, lift the lower belly. Press up through the shoulder blades, last inhale. Exhale, lower to the ground. Option to drop the knees as you lower. Chest between the hands, take your time. And tuck the toes at the bottom. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, take your bum to the sky, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Begin to press through your left toes. Inhale, take right to the sky. Exhale, step right foot between the hands, maybe help it there. Press down through the right big toe. Inhale, arms to the sky. We rise, lift it high. And then exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Take them in front of your right foot. And then inhale, the left toes to the sky, stand and split. Head comes heavy. Lift from your left bum cheek up to your left big toe. Doesn't matter how high the leg goes. We're using the strength through the leg to lift. All right, from here, inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. And then exhale, step your left leg behind your right, take it out to the side. So the outside edge of the foot meets the earth as a bend through the right knee. Press left fingertips to the earth. Inhale, right arm to the sky. So that left leg has come behind and out. Nice, and then we come into this twist. Press firmly through that right foot. Lift up and away from the earth with the strength in the leg. Create lightness in your upper body, especially in the face. Take an inhale. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, both hands knee the ground as you fold forward. Inhale, left toes to the sky, take it nice and high. And then exhale, drop left toes to the back of the mat. Inhale, arms to the sky, we rise, high lunge. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, puff the chest. And then exhale, cross left elbow over the right knee. You can drop that left knee down if you want that little bit of support. Wherever you go, you twist towards the right leg. Press the palms together as you bring your 
center of your heart towards your thumb. Left knee is very welcome to be on the earth. Find the breath. When you're ready, unravel, come back to the center, inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, both hands to the mat. Press down through the knuckles, inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, shoulders come over the wrists, pause there, lift the lower belly. Lift through the shoulders, through the legs. All of this strength supports your body. The tighter you are, the lighter you are. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop the knees as you lower chest between the hands. Take your time as you lower down. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, take it to your downward dog or child's pose. We're here for a few breaths. Give yourself a moment just to notice what's there. What's moving in body? What's present? If you're in your child's pose, gently making your way to downward facing dog. When you get there, pressing through right toes, inhale left to the sky. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, maybe help it back. Inhale, arms to the sky, we rise. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat, take them in front of the foot. Inhale, right toes to the sky, we're in our standing split. Take your time as you arrive. Deep breath. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step that right leg behind the left. Take it out to the side. There's a bend through that left knee. Right fingertips to the arm. Inhale, right arm, left arm to the sky. Twist through the ribs. If you can draw that right lower rib under the body as you twist and open through the left shoulder. Draw the awareness down through your torso. Use the breath. Take an inhale. Exhale. Last breath as you reach. Exhale, hands to the ground. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold over that front leg. Inhale, right toes come up to the sky, take it high. And then exhale, right toes meet the back of the mat. Press through the left big toe, inhale, arms to the sky, we rise. Exhale, hands come to heart center. From here, puff the chest, lift out of the lower back, and then cross right elbow over the left knee. Draw the center of your heart towards your thumbs. Option to drop that right knee to the ground for support. Nice. If you need support so you can get the depth in your twist, do it. Find the breath. Squeeze through the torso, through the core. When you're ready, inhale both arms to the sky. Take it high, unravel the shades. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Inhale, step back to your high plank. Exhale, pause here, shoulders over the wrist. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Last breath in. And then exhale, slow lower to the ground. Maybe drop the knees as you lower down. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the shoulders back. Exhale, take your bum to your heels, child pose. Stretch the arms long as you sink the bum back. Take a breath. Take a moment to notice what's there. Take a moment to notice what's in body.
Inhale, lift the elbows, lift the gaze. On your exhale, walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. Right hand can step on top of the left as you drop forehead and chest towards the ground. If it's too much to have the hands stacked, take them one next to the other. Finding the stretch in your right side body. So here, draw your right hip back, anchor it down. Find the breath. Use the breath here. Inhale, slowly walk the hands back to the center and then take them over to the left side of the mat. Maybe that left hand steps on top of the right. Let the short shoulders, forehead, chest drop towards the earth. Breathe into that left side body as you anchor the hip back. Use the breath. Inhale, slowly make your way back to the center. Stretch your arms long, come up to tabletop. Tuck the toes under. Send the bum to the sky. Come to your downward facing dog. Heels sink towards the earth, they don't have to touch, we just send them that way. Soft bend through the knees, giving yourself space. Head heavy. Yeah, inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, take your gaze towards your hands. Exhale, walk couple steps to seated at the top of your mat. Doesn't matter how you get there. From here, we're gonna take the soles of the feet together, knees wide. So to start with, take the feet slightly further away and then scoot your hips towards your heels instead of bringing the heels towards the hips. This just gives your hips a little bit more room to open. Using the strength in your legs, draw the knees towards the ground, hands come to the toes. From here, inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. And then exhale, draw your heart forward as you fold. So you keep that length down the spine till you find that edge. Then drop the head, drop the neck, let the body come soft. If you stay fairly upright, that's okay. As long as you feel something in your hips, doesn't matter where the rest of your body goes. Drop into the breath. <sighs> Inhale, slowly lift the chest, come back up to seated. You have two options here. You can roll down in your butterfly pose. This brings them more into the core, so if it's too much, bring the soles of the feet to the earth and ground for your big toes. Whichever one you choose, we're gonna slowly roll towards the earth. So you can come in your butterfly. There's a little bit less of a press through the toes. But you keep the feet grounded as you roll or the soles of the feet to the ground. When you make your way to lying on the earth, we're gonna come back to that butterfly shape, but this time more of a yin style shape. There's no real effort in the legs. There's just this softening. If you find that this doesn't feel safe in body, if the body's tensing in any way, use cushions or blocks to support the knees and the legs. Arms can go wherever feels good. Eyes gently close. And then really check in, is your body able to soften here? It's quite a vulnerable shape. So if the body doesn't feel safe, it won't be able to soften. So use what you need so the body does feel supported. And then let everything sink towards the earth, there's no effort. Breath moves freely. 
body is heavy. Land here. Softening as much as you can. Maybe letting out a sigh as you let the body sink. Just where your mind goes as you land in stillness. Notice what's present here. it go out the mouth if you can let go of and just taking these taking last few moments in Using the hands, don't you bring the knees back together and come to your final shape, your shavasana. If you need any extra layers to stay warm, take them. And then we're going to come to lying on the earth. If you find lying on your back is uncomfortable for whatever reason, you can lie on your side. Or you can lie with the soles of the feet on the ground, just supporting the lower back a little more. Find a position that works for you. If lying down really isn't going to work, come to sit against the wall, just giving your back that bit of support, giving yourself a space where there's no effort needed, where you can just land, and you can just breathe, and you can just be. We can know what will grow Winds will blow and break But we stand on our feet And rise up to our feet And then just land here in stillness Could you let go? Could you let go? Allowing this to be whatever it go? is And just allowing yourself to witness this a moment to really receive life, to receive the ripples of this practice, to receive what this moment has for you, what this life has for you. mind wanders, that's okay, use the breath. And really just relish, relish in this time. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahe Om 
Try not to rush forward. Receiving this moment. Receiving this life. Nothing to do, nowhere to be, nothing to prove, just here. Just enjoying a couple of moments of silence. When you're ready, you start to deepen your breath. Let the breath be full. Feel each one. And then maybe starting to invite movement to the fingers. Oh, taking whatever movement your body needs there, whatever wiggles, whatever shapes, whatever, whatever's being asked for. And then maybe rolling to one side and just taking a moment to pause there. A moment to bridge the gap between this practice and the rest of your day. A moment to honor the ceremony of life. A moment for reverence. So when you're ready, make your way to seated. My invitation is to bring hands up to heart center, one on top of the other, but if that doesn't feel good, don't do it, do something else. Any comfortable seat is welcome. Eyes gently closed. And just ending this practice with a moment of reverence, of respect, of gratitude, appreciation for life, for yourself, for this journey, for the ups and the downs, the ebbs and the flows. Taking a full deep breath in. Let it go out the mouth. And my last invitation here is to just make a commitment to yourself, maybe just for the rest of the day, maybe for the rest of the week. One word that represents what you wish to weave into this world. For me, it's joy. Pick a word that works for you. a full deep breath in and let it go thank you for allowing me to hold this space thank you for trusting in me 
y la están recibiendo. Namaste.